ordinary in appearance but not an ordinary man. He is Mr. Hindu Singh Soda, a migrant right activist and a real migrant hero. Mr. Soda has sacrificed his entire youth for the cause of migrants and has succeeded in his motive by helping more than 100,000 migrants get the citizenship right and live a life of dignity. They migrated from Pakistan and we were knowing the pain these people faced due to the migration and migration was continuous. So when I completed my law degree and uh, was trying to contribute in one or the other way, so I was very much active in uh, you know, helping this group as a volunteer whenever I had a vacation during my school period. But then, I actually saw that there is not a single organization working on this from the state of Pakistan or any other state in India. So then the idea came in my mind that these are the people which don't have any right, which are actually being harassed at the right from bottom to the top level, bottom, I mean at the FRRO level, foreign regional decision office, and at the top level at the policy because in the absence of the policy. So there should be a organization which should work for these people, right from uh, conducting the research, that how these um, people are coming, what kind of problems they have. And then we were using this research as an advocacy tool to change the policy at the government level. And uh, because of our organization, and uh, I was uh, trying to participate in Every uh, rather uh, the national, either it's a conference, symposium, seminar on the issue of the refugees, uh, the migrants. So then I had also had a chance to participate in the uh, People's Heart at the South Asian region. So due to our intervention, the first time uh, this issue was included, uh, the official SARCs uh, memorandum which was submitted to the head of the states of the South Asian uh, official SAR in 2008 in Colombo when I participated and after that I am continuously participating and trying to intervene uh, in the organization manner. So we are trying our level best whenever we engage with the WTO that they should come with a kind of regime uh, which should uh, uh, protect their basic human rights. And, uh, if there is any violation, then there should be clear that uh, uh, directions and uh, provision in that. So overall, we want uh, a friendly.